Hello, entries to oh, my vlog in the phone. Um, I just finished reading the readings for today's um, mass, and all along, I feel like God has been trying to speak to me, but I was, you know, I was like ready to listen or I was avoiding to listen, but I hear Him so clearly now because, you know. I've been so worried and I've been so scared and afraid to suffer and as a result, I've been complaining or I've been planning um, to do other things for me to avoid to go through pain and suffering and it's just so revealing because um, sorry, I'm done with all some pies and pie because I'm, I just washed, I just did the laundry last night. Anyway, it's just so, parang God is revealing and telling me na from today's reading na without suffering, and even the podcasts that I listened to yesterday or last night, like I first time I listened to the Sky podcast and they were talking about like, if you don't go through suffering or if you, you won't you know you without pain basically like without pain you won't be able to 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 experience joy because how would you know joy if you don't know pain right you just know how to be happy but you don't really fully realize what it is without something to contrast it against right so it's just so revealing to me and I don't know, I feel like I have growing pains that I know I'm at a point in my life where I have a lot to go through. Like, I feel like I'm in a comfort zone, so my body's telling me, no, you have to push yourself more and go through growth for you to transform and to be in a level where you want to be. And just right now, I realize that I can't be where I want to be if I don't go through a breakthrough or a major change in life or if I don't change my ways for that, if I don't prepare myself for that. Ay. Tapos ang ganda lang kasi I've been kind of sad na I'm contemplating na is YouTube really something that I really want or is it just like a dream that I had before but I don't like to have anymore like is my dream just to like live by live life by and just go through life like don't I have any more that spark in me who wants to live life like as a special person or like an extraordinary kind of life and I'm still contemplating on that one. Like, is my adulthood telling me to just be like everybody else and live life like everybody else? I don't really know. But I was as I was scanning the Bible, two verses hit me, and the one was from Habakkuk two verse three. I'm gonna um, insert the story here but it says it will come that God doesn't delay and another one as I, as I was like looking for a verse that I was reading for the mass another one was there that um, about God's promise and It's not that I'm doubting God, but I get impatient. Eh. Even sa podcast nga, parang sabi, yeah, you get impatient. I listen to the one from Moira. And that we get impatient. And sobrang nakarelate ako dun sa struggle ni Moira na she waited for seven years, na uh, nothing's happening with her career na she faced so many rejections because I went through that although I did not give 7 years of my life um, and then the time that she was really struggling the most that's when she 
that's the time when she made all her hits and going back again to the realization and the revelation from the bible na without suffering <laughs> without suffering there is no transformation and you really have to go through that <sighs> even this morning I didn't want to listen to any podcast like I just I was just like what do I do today because it's my free day today and I'm like Okay, I think I should just listen to a podcast because what I wanted to do was watch gay drama while folding the clothes. But then I was like, no, I have to like surround myself with something that I can learn from. So I just played the podcast and biglang sabi ko, biglang nagplay yung kay Moira because I just played whatever and that's the one that played after because I was listening last night. So I think yun na yung next na kapil na or something. And so, parang really, grabe talaga, no, when God speaks to you, talaga, He speaks to you. And it just reminds me that God doesn't want me to, to go away, to, to drift away from Him. Because I have, I have been drifting away so far away. But God loves me so much that He pulled me back. But, yun yung thing eh. The th- God loves us so much that even if He really, really, really wants us to be with Him, He loves us so much that He just lets us be. You know, He trusts us. He made us how we are, like rational human beings with their own will. You know, it's just how our how we are. Like, hindi talaga pwedeng Parang, kasi sometimes I'm, I think, eh, if God really wants us to be with Him, then why can't just He let us be good? Like, why? I don't understand. If that would, if if our free will would give us the possibility of going to hell and not being with God, then why would God allow that? And I still don't know the answer to that, but the only answer I have now that I know in my mind is that it's because God loves us too much and it's too much that I can't even understand it fully because it's a kind of love that nobody has ever given to me other than God. And I know that for me to be able to fully understand and experience that I have to let God do that in my life and I have to know God and that the initiative should be from me. I have to start that. I have to be the one to initiate because that's how it is. That's I have, I have my own will because God loves me too much. Like He doesn't want me to just be a robot and just do whatever He wants. And oh my gosh, and maybe He wants... No, I'm oh, sorry, I'm sorry, but... That's the thing, like, it wouldn't be genuine, right, if he just, let, let's say, let's say something like in the movies, right, when there's like this guy, let's say this guy has powers or whatever to make someone fall in love with him. He can do it, but that would mean the love of the girl for him wouldn't be genuine. It would just be like automatic or it wasn't earned for, right, but... But, oh, galing. Kasi God wants, God wants us to love Him genuinely. And He wants us to feel that genuinely. He wants us to, to have the truth. And the truth is Him. Oh, ang ganda. Wala lang. Parang, gusto rin niya na genuine yung love natin for Him. And that the love that we do feel is also genuine. That we are aware of what we feel, of what's happening around us, everything around us. And that 
we're not merely robots or we're not merely his creation that will you know parang it is are like slaves to him that we just do whatever he wants <sighs> oh well that's just those are just my realizations for today um i wanted to write it but my mind is just too like, it's just so many thoughts so i just felt like um filming it so yeah i don't know if i <laughs> i don't know if i should um upload this but i might because i feel like the reason i feel this way is because i listen to people who also shared their thoughts and I also want to, ha to to give that inspiration and influence to other people who need to hear this. So if you're hearing this now and this is you feel like you um, watching this makes you want to like open your Bible or hear the Mass or talk to me or whatever and I don't know like maybe the reason you watch this is because God is trying to reach out to you through me or through other people and not even you by washing machine. Um so yeah, um sabing if today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. And my heart has been really, really hard for a long time. And the moments where I open my heart to God are the moments where I just feel so free and so happy and so so inspired, so loved and yeah. So I still have a long way to go. Um I am a sinner in need of a savior. Like I'm such a sinful person, but you we can always change that. Like every waking day that God gives us another chance for us to transform our lives and be better and do better and love more and be more and be loved you know um, so yeah it's not too late to to start over no matter where you are in life and what age you are um, yeah so happy sunday everybody <laughs>